My name is Marcelo Vignali. Uh, I am a production designer, art director, visual development artist. Education is important and it's paramount and you can't succeed without education. But it depends what you mean by education. Just to give you an example, there was an intern that had stayed with us at the studio that I was working at and invited three of these top designers to go and have lunch. So the three of us had gone out with her and she asked us about the importance of our education. And I had to confess that although I went to art school, I never graduated from art school. Halfway through, I ended up running out of money. I went to go work in the industry, hoping that I would collect enough money to go back and get my education, complete my education, but I never did. I said, so I'm probably not a good example to discuss the, the importance of education. I got an education, but it wasn't an academic education. The next person that was talking mentioned the same thing, said, well, I didn't go to school at all. I did an apprenticeship when I was living in France. And then the third person said, I never went to school or had an apprenticeship. I went straight from high school into a studio where I was doing artwork for a greeting card company. And it was sort of startling, even to me, that the three of us had gotten an education. It just simply wasn't an academic education. So I don't think that anyone is limited because they don't have access or the resources or funds to go to a, a, a big name school because the teachers are all around you. And it's important to find those teachers where somebody found it working at a studio. I found it uh, partially in school and I obviously continued my education afterwards. And another person found it working as an apprentice. It's so important to be able to find the right person that is going to give you what it is that you're looking for in terms of education. Steven Silver teaches a class online. So every person in Manila has that resource. They don't have to fly to Los Angeles to take a class with Steven. They can take a virtual class with Steven and they have access to his knowledge. Each and every person has an opportunity to buy books, study film, watch your favorite movie, turn the volume down, take notes. You can build your own education. Another thing that's really important is to try and cultivate relationships with your peers because you're going to learn as much from your peers as you are from another professional. And you actually cover more ground quickly in that regard by hooking up with other people and saying, you know what, this is going to be our drawing club. And every week we get together and draw. Or this is going to be our script writing club. And we get together and share our ideas. I think part of the problem that artists have is artists tend to be very protective and very secretive because the process of creativity is so intimate that people feel undressed showing their creative works. And sometimes they'll show something and it's so intimate and so personal that if someone says, mm, I don't like it or you can fix this, it's devastating. It's emotionally devastating to that person. But as an artist, you have to get past that. You have to get past that. Be passionate. Be intimate with your work, but at the same time, be so forthright and create a, a cultivate relationships and friendships that you can trust, that you can go ahead and say, this is what I have. How can I make it better? And grow those relationships and you grow your talent. So I don't think that you need to go specifically to an academic school or something like that. If you have that access and you have that resource, by all means, take advantage of it. But it doesn't end there and it's not limited by that. Years ago, I was at a figure drawing class and the, the person there was painting, was doing this beautiful painting, uh, you know, the figure, and I, I called him a master. I said, wow, you are really a master. And he said, no, I'm not a master. He says, we're all students, except some are older than others. And I thought that's a wonderful way to see what it is that we do. As an artist, you have to be a student. And being a student doesn't end when you get out of art school. I've never stopped being a student, and I really think that when you stop being a student, you stop being an artist. An artist is, by nature, a process of being a student, a process of continually educating yourself.